Good morning, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Real quick, I want to touch on something. If you have someone else besides the shop that you had to work perform, do the work, make sure they know what they're doing. Where he took it, they obviously had not dealt with performance. Reason being, the spark plugs they installed were the right ones, but none of them were gapped properly. For a stock application, plugs out the box will be fine. You can help the gap by tweaking it, but you don't have to. When you have a modified vehicle, you have to change the gap on the plugs, especially in a boosted application. And this gentleman's C7 Z06 is boosted, is turned up. The plugs they installed, like I said, were correct. They're the 6510s. Those were right in NGK. The problem being they installed them out the box. Out the box, the gap is typically between 42 thousandths and 45. That's way too big for the power this guy's making. You're gonna be down on power, it's going to break up, and if you run it hard enough, and you stay in it you're gonna pop your motor but I'll flip you around and show you what I had to correct all right you also installing on your spark plug wires need to make sure you have plenty of room around each primary tube that way you don't have a melt through or a burn through and it start arcing arcing and you lose power that way that was one thing they didn't have the uh, bending them right they just let them all straight now number one you don't have to bend because there's plenty of room with it just going straight but three five and seven you need to angle more that way it stays off the header right now I can get my full finger underneath the boot before you could not and it doesn't matter which spark plug wires they are, you have a little wiggle room to bend them to ensure you have plenty of clearance. So make sure who's ever doing your work knows what they're doing or has done stuff and hasn't had an issue. Same principle. But if you're DIY, make sure you get your spark plug gap set properly. That way you don't have a problem and you're not wondering what's going on or my tune's messed up because it's not the tune 99.9999999 percent of the time it's mechanical once the tune is set it doesn't change unless something happens to the computer where it fries or wigs out and it's got a cross short in the circuit board it's not like our power that we have in our house when it goes off it's got to be reset it doesn't work that way just keep that in mind. Thanks for tuning in and stopping by. Feel free to leave a comment, ask me a question, and I'll catch you down the road.